Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and I know some of you have been waiting for the Halo Sport update, so today is your lucky day. First I'll go over how the unit works, and then I'll go over the results that I saw during my trial. So let's get started. Let's have a quick look at what's in the box. You get a quick dry clamshell carrying case for the headphones, some instruction booklets, a recharge kit for the neuroprimers, a Halo sticker, a set of closed ear cups, a USB wall adapter, and a small spray bottle. Then inside the case you have the headphones, a flat male-to-male -male audio cable, flat micro USB charging cable, and in this box are the neuroprimers that'll go on the underside of the headband. The recharge kit is basically a couple of packets of saline solution and a little plastic tray. You use these to refresh the primers after you've used them for a couple months. For those of you new to TDCS devices, basically the idea is to send tiny electrical impulses into your brain to activate certain parts of it. This stimulates or elicits certain chemical changes. On the Halo Sport, that's done through these spongy nibs called neuroprimers. The beauty and simplicity of the Halo Sport is that the headband of the headphones lines up perfectly with your motor cortex, the part of your brain that controls body movement. Stimulating these neurons can put them in a state of neuroplasticity, meaning you can learn faster and more efficiently during physical training. Reportedly, this helps you train for anything from athletic skills like swimming or swinging a baseball bat to musical dexterity like playing an instrument, and they also function as normal headphones for listening to music too. The headphones have a flexible metal and plastic body that's a bit heavier duty than your normal cans. It comes pre-installed with 3.5 inch open ear cups clad in a soft squishy leatherette covered foam. The headphones charge via micro USB on the bottom of the right earpiece. To use them to listen to music, you'll have to plug in the included flat audio cable with inline mic for hands-free calling. There's no wireless music streaming option. The audio quality is pretty good, but not amazing. Also, I prefer the closed ear cups because the quality is a bit cleaner. However, the biggest drawback for using these for music and working out is that the wire hangs down, so most times I just used a neuropriming feature without any audio. You'll need the Halo Sport app to control the neuropriming, which is available for iOS and Android devices. There's a couple of tips in the app that help you set the headphones up, but there's only a few steps here. First, wet the primers, making sure they are fully saturated. Then install them in the slots under the headband. You only need the two outer ones for hands and finger training, but you'll need all three for full body workouts. Then just wear these like ordinary headphones. The app will tell you if there's enough skin contact with the top of your head. If there's not, just wiggle the headband back and forth a bit to push your hair out of the way. Next, choose the type of session, legs, core, and arms, or hands and fingers, either right or left. Press start and it'll count down 20 minutes for that session. During that time, Halo recommends you do light warm-ups or stretching. You'll feel a slight tingling or prickly sensation through your skin where the primers are touching your scalp. You can turn up or down the intensity at any time during the session, but the results are the same no matter what setting it's on, and at the higher settings it tends to sting a bit. After the timer runs out, the neuroplastic effects last for approximately one hour, and that's when you should get into the more intense part of your workout. I used the Halo Sport for four consecutive weeks for weight training, and I recorded a 30% increase in upper body strength when measured in maximum pull-up reps. When used in conjunction with keyboarding practice, I was able to increase my maximum words typed per minute by 25%, and my typing accuracy improved about 10%. During my practice sessions, I felt like I was more focused and able to adapt to new exercises more quickly. I'm not attributing all the improvement to the Halo Sport, and it's basically impossible to tease out its exact effect, but I will say that the speed and extent of the improvements in both my trials was better than I had anticipated. My takeaway is this, the Halo Sport isn't a magic gadget that you can wear around all day and become more athletic. You still have to train hard and practice while you use it, and in most cases that's going to help you improve anyway. Even if it is just the placebo effect, the results speak for themselves, and for me that's a pretty compelling reason to at least give it a try. I hope you enjoyed this review, you can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and join me next time.